It's never enough, and people are never, ever satisfied. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of the Daily Devo. I've been reflecting in John chapter 14 today. If you want to turn over there in your scripture, and we can read this together starting in about verse 8. And I've just been thinking about that this morning. There, there, There's just this thing inside of us that never has enough. It really doesn't matter what it is. It, it, contentment is hard to find, and having enough is hard to um, uh, get over in our lives, right? Like we always think we need a little bit more. Even if what we really want and really desire is right in front of our face, we just want a little bit more. Because enough is never, ever enough. Listen to this conversation that uh, Jesus has with Philip. I don't hear a lot from Philip as a disciple, but uh, here's a, a, a place where we do. Lord said, to Philip, show us the Father, and that's enough for us. Just show us the Father, God. Just show us the Father, Jesus. Show us the Father, and that'll be enough. And then look at Jesus' response. Jesus said to him, I've been among you all this time, and you don't know me, Philip? The one who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I and the Father and the Father is in me? The words I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who lives in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Otherwise, believe because of the works themselves. He says, just just show us God. That'll be enough. That, that'll be enough for us, Jesus. If you'll, if you'll just show us the Father, that'll be enough. And then Jesus' response is, I have. It's been right in front of you the whole time. Like, I'm, I'm living with you. I'm walking with you. I'm, I'm eating with you. I'm, I'm traveling around with you. You're watching me do all of these amazing works, and that's not enough. Like, you haven't seen the Father? You haven't seen what the Father is doing through me? You think I'm just doing all of this stuff on my own? Just show us the Father. That will be enough. What what area of your life, this is what I've been contemplating today as I've been wrestling with the Lord and wrestling with this text. What area of your life do you constantly come back to and say, I don't have enough there? I want you to look at that. I want you to think about that. I want you to pray about that. And then I want you to, to really consider whether or not God has already been meeting the needs of that area. Just like with Philip, Jesus says, I'm already here. Like, you, you're you already seeing me. I think if you'll go to that, you'll see that you really do have enough. God really has been sufficient. God really has been your provider and, and bringing provision into your life and whatever that area is. God really has been moving there. But you still want more, don't you? You're not any different than anybody else. We're all the same way. I don't say this to make you feel bad. I'm just saying it so you'll really step back and consider, when is enough really enough? Because if you never do that, I promise you this, you will never have enough. They had Jesus, but they still wanted more. Enough is never enough. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your day. Come over and visit me at pastorpete.org. We'll see you again. God bless.